Hello guys, um, today I finally got an oscilloscope, so yeah, I can do some more electronic stuff. Also, I have had, um, the Samsung Galaxy S2 for a while now, and the charger for it has caused the most interference ever. So, I would like to show you what this, um, charger does to my room. So as you can see here, I have th three plugs. This is the charger. This is to my oscilloscope, and this is to a radio, which is just an alarm clock. Now, I will probe this one first, then I will get near this one, and then I will drop it right down on this. And as you can see, nothing will happen with these two, but with this one, you'll have some issues. So right now, I am laying it right against that one, or right on the uh, radio and there's very little to nothing coming out of it. I'll now move it over to the oscilloscope and there's nothing coming out of it. And when I move it right above the Samsung charger ouch! That comes out. But that's not all. Under load, which means I'm going to plug my phone into this hold on with the oscilloscope probe while I plug my phone in. My phone is now plugged in and charging. And, holy cow, look at what it does. We have, uh, this is just a coil of wire magnetically coupling to whatever is messing with everything inside. As you can see here, it's um, 228 millivolts max, 440 something peak to peak apparently. And it's running at 100, I don't even know what frequency. I'd have to zoom in. Um, see if I can figure out. 300 hertz. Um, it's running at around 100 kilohertz, is what it says. 100, 200 kilohertz there. There's decent waveform there. Look at that nasty waveform. As you can see there. Um, 800 kilohertz? I don't know. Um, hold on, let's try and get into the, whoops, not that. I want to trigger menu setup. See if I can get my hold off to run into this. And give me something interesting. Oh, there it was. I was assuming. Oh. Um. I'm not sure, but if you can bring that scale down a bit so you can see. But that's a little better. So 80 kilohertz is what it's jucking out into the air at massive amounts of millivolts, which are probably a lot worse when I'm not just sitting the probe on top of the charger. Because that's all I'm doing is just having the probe sitting on top of it. And that's just magnetically coupled. So, it would be a lot worse in reality. And this causes much too much interference in my room. So if I'm ever charging my phone, I have to unplug everything else. Um, so yeah. See ya.